Well, let's broaden this out to, to Europe because you've helped found the Democracy in Europe movement. Now, uh, there was a late Scottish novelist, uh, William McIlvanny, who was very sympathetic to the kind of politics that you stand for, who once said, when you get the left gathering in a room, the first thing on the agenda is the split. Um, so how are you going to keep together or encourage left of centre parties with different historical traditions, perhaps with slightly different agendas, to come together on a, a pan-European basis to push back the politics that you find so offensive? It's such a good question. It's not easy, is it? Because, you know, th think of the Christians. They divided into multiple sects from the beginning. The left. <laughs> Everyone, anyone who was, wants to change the world uh, in, in, in the direction of, of what is good and proper, whether they succeed in doing it or not, uh, there's another matter. They end up splitting. And this, is, this reminds me of the, the opening sequence in Monty Python's Life of Brian. Uh, your description of the situation. But we have no alternative. We really must get together. And look, DiEM25, the Democracy in Europe movement that uh, we founded uh, two years ago in, uh, in Berlin, uh, purposely in Berlin, uh, is it more ambitious than what you're saying. Because we're trying to rope in into this discussion uh, people who are not on the left, people who are apolitical, who are, are members of the Green Movement, who are liberals, even progressive conservatives, because we have this deep fear that we are now experiencing a 1930 moment that is a little bit after, shortly after the great financial collapse of 1929, our generation's 1929 was 2008, that one year that I am using as an analogy here lasted 10 years in the West today because central banks printed a lot of money so they dragged out this period when the patient is comatose uh, but remains stable and now we see just like as if in a postmodern 1930s, the rise of the Nationalist International, the fragmentation of the political centre, liberal democracies in deep trouble, and absolutely no sense of hope that we can have a conversation as Democrats. So that despite our differences, left, right, liberal, conservative, Marxist, whatever, we can actually um, address the four crises that are destroying our countries, whether our country is Scotland, Greece, and these are private debt, public debt, poverty rising up, and very low level, level of investment in the things that humanity needs.